Uh, thank you so much for talking. No touching. 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 You know, people still do that on the street. Do they really? I was going to ask. They yell no touching. They yell, hey now. How sick are you of answering questions about a new season of Arrested Development? Uh, you know, uh, I, I always say the Bluths are always close, but we never know where they are. Uh, uh, if you hear anything, please let me know. I have no idea. I've made a huge mistake. Throughout your career, you've played quite a few patriarchs, the father of the family. And one of the interesting things that Jill Soloway, the creator of Transparent, says is that that was actually part of why she approached you was the fact that you are so well known to so many Americans as the dad of the family mm. and loved in fact as the dad that they would follow you mm. on that journey over uh, into finally coming out mm. as a woman in Transparent. My name is Maura. But you were nervous about it, weren't you? Well, I was speaking actually about one scene, which is the coming out scene, when Maura comes out to her, her eldest daughter. Hi, girls. Mr. Pfefferman. Uh, and I was very nervous about that scene because not so much about getting it, uh, getting good reviews or people saying, oh, that's very believable, but getting it right. Dad, what are you wearing? For uh, all the people who have had that, that time in their life when they say, I must come out to my family. So I have something to tell you. I remember my hands were shaking and I remember uh, I wanted to get it, I wanted to get it behind me. Oh, I just got emotional saying that. But it's very powerful. And cut. But when you came down to the actual scene, I, went, I, I don't quite know how to do this because I've never done it before. And that's thrilling and it makes you very aware. It makes you very present and your, 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 your whole system of emotions is very at the surface. And um, that was great. It's interesting because a lot of the cast who worked with you on Arrested Development, they, they often remark about how they would just sit back and watch you acting as though you would set Who the tone. Who says that? Bateman. Bateman said it Bateman. a couple of times. Bateman is actually like my son. I always I, I call him, I always, you know, I always write email, love dad. <laughs> um, proud of you, love dad. I was only a guest artist when um, they asked me to do it and then I'd already been booked for another series and I was praying that it wouldn't be picked up. <laughs> and I, 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 they called me in Prague. I was doing... Hellboy. Hellboy. Wow, you've done your homework. They said, would you like to be in the series? And I said, sure. And they said, well, uh, if we do 13, how many would you like to be? And I said, 13. <laughs> I just want my son to have a job where his incompetence won't be out of place. Well, that's not a great sign. But even with Arrested Development, pretty much from like episode six onwards, there was a, a sense that the show was in peril. The show was always on the verge of being axed right through season one. Of my, 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 my makeup lady used to say, is it today? And I would say, would you stop and just put on the makeup? You're I'm a chicken. Cuckoo ka cha You know, it's like dating the girl who doesn't like you. You kind of go, okay, uh, I'll go to the prom with someone else. Actually, I, it sounds a bit cavalier, but when we were dropped, I kind of went, yeah, it, it, we'll come back in another way. It, it's fine, and then we did. Hank, I'm sorry. No, no, in more. fact, why don't you just laugh in my face? I mean, you might as well do it now. You and Artie do it every time I turn my back. That is not true, Hank. Larry Sanders, Arrested Development, Transparent, three really iconic, game-changing shows now. It's interesting at 70, have you considered that you're actually something of a pioneer in the format and technology of television? I think it's rather, I think there's irony in that. I mean, I, I came from the theatre and then when I went to television, I didn't understand it. I didn't get it. I did a show called The Ropers and I remember, I, I, oh, I thought I was Mr. Thing. Tom? You would say this thing that was uproarious laughter, and I, I, I didn't. And then you were getting all this money. I, I didn't get it. No, no, it's best in these cases just to play along. Um, and I had to get rewired on that, that whole thing. I, I, that uh, was a very interesting moment in my life. Um, so what brought about the rewiring then, after all that? Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, I'm, I'm 15 years sober. Um, and finally, you just find out what's important to you. And what's important to me is uh, using all of my talent rather than that and getting... Uh, 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 I, I, I love to act and I like the problem of acting and I like to touch people.
Jeffrey Tambor, you're an absolute pleasure to talk to. Really? Yeah, you really are. Were we rolling on any of that? No, none of it. We're going to have to do it all again. Can't wait to watch this.